This is Chris Kell with your Training Tuesday question that I get a lot from many of my clients that are going to the beach or going to events, especially this time of year. It's getting out to uh, 4th of July, you know, everybody wants to go to the beach and look great. And one of the, th the questions is, how do you look ripped for that particular day, all right? Because what happens for a lot of people is you might be at a very low body fat, you, won't, you know, you might measure your stomach and you're down there, but at the same time you just can't see the definition. You might be kind of you might have definition in your shoulders and different areas, but your stomach is still obscured. And the problem with that is this is one of the areas that holds on to water last. So while everything else might tone up and you might have muscle under that area, because we still have, so our body is uh, forced to hold on to these areas because we have, maybe we're retaining water for some reason, you know, that's one of the, that's one of the big causes of why we won't see that definition. So two things that we can do, number one is that we want to cut out loading foods, okay, whether it be an excess of vegetables or anything that would create um, inflammation, dairy would be another one, just because again, um, those are not foods that are necessarily going to cause you to gain fat, but at the same time what they will do is cause your body to hold on to water. Okay, and just kind of bloat you and kind of inflame the stomach a little bit. So by cutting those things out, immediately you're going to see a nice sort of uh, dropping of just um, you know water and maybe uh, you know flattening the stomach. So that would be number one. And we're looking seven to ten days out for that. You know, if you're if you're eating a uh, diet that's high in vegetables um, to lose body fat, up until that time, maybe about ten days out, start to eat things like asparagus and just vegetables that are a little less loading. You know, you can certainly look on the internet for that kind of thing, as well as you know, a, a higher uh, amount of protein um, and plenty of water. That's that's very important. And the other part of it is that our, mu our muscles often hold on to what is called glycogen, okay, which is just stored carbohydrates, so which cause them to retain water. So what we want to do is use exercise to flush a lot of this water out and strategically kind of start to define the areas that we're looking for there. So what we're looking at in order to do so, what we like to do is um, use little micro workouts where we do a very high amount of reps, try to get a lot of volume in. Not necessarily very intense work, but just a lot of work to help to just flush some of this water out in the days leading up to our event. All right, so let's say you have four days until your event. I want you to take um, three periods during the day where you do 10 minutes of this high intensity circuit that I'm going to give you. All right, so it's very simple. For this circuit, we're going to perform four exercises back to back for 20 reps each. Again, this is not necessarily balls to ball. You don't have to go that hard. Just try to get as much volume in as you can for the right areas, all right? So in order to do so, let's look at the areas that people are usually will, looking to define specifically, all right? There's no spot burning fat, but what we can do is target these areas to improve sort of this flushing effect. So number one, our first exercise is going to be a dip. All right, with a dip, I'm just gonna bend my knees, come down, elbows are tucked in, and come back up. All right, I can make this hard by straightening my legs out. The key is I'm feeling this in the back of my arms, which is anywhere else. Keep in mind, um, doesn't have to be very intense, you just have to do a lot of reps, all right? So that's exercise one. Exercise two is a frog hop, all right? This is targeting kind of the butt and the hips. I'm just gonna stick my butt out, give it a little hop up and down for 20 reps. Exercise three is a band pullback, all right? So I'm just gonna loop a band around my hands, pull straight back 20 times. And to kind of hit different angles, I can also do it from, you know, I can change the orientation of the bands but again, this is hitting the shoulders and kind of all those areas. Um, last but not least, we're going to do a reverse crunch, right? This is just kind of getting the stomach and all of those areas as well. So again, I'm just gonna hold on to the back of the chair, put my feet and knees together, come up high, and come back down. All right, so the goal is to set a clock for 10 minutes, 20 reps of each exercise, go through that circuit as many times as possible. Maybe do one before, um, before in the morning, you know, on an empty stomach or right after breakfast, midday and evening, um, on the days leading up to your event, along with sort of a diet that kind of caters to this getting away from bloating foods, you're going to have great success. Give that a go. Drop some comments. Let me know how you like it.